gonna put a new set of headlights in old Cummins. There's nothing really wrong with the headlights that are in it right now. I just didn't like the look of them. I didn't put them in. The previous owner did. They're not really my style. I got some more simple. I'll show you my gun right here. It just um, I already did this side. Something like the original headlights, but they have an LED strip top and bottom. All right, now we'll get to installing them. All right, so it should be two 10 mil bolts on your truck if it's got the original. But um, this truck's got 330 sub thousand kilometers on it. And these are the, these will be the four set of headlights going in that I know of. Oh, well, actually no, I, I had when I got I had the original. So these will be the four set of headlights in. And it's got different fenders on here, so the clips and everything's all different. You might notice I got a cast on my foot, I had a bit of an accident in a mosh pit. Probably see it for a couple of videos, I got away for six weeks. Being an old truck, it also has this air sensor tire after that. Light up there, also. And there should be bolts in the back of here, or nuts, anyways, and they're not connected. And then there's, on this main connector here. There's a red, red cab you pull out and then push down pull. This will be a little different than the original headlights if you have original lights on. Looks like for these headlights they had to add an extra two wires to give it power for the extra running lights. We're just going to cut those for now and then I'll trace them back after. Alright, that's the original one lights removed. Yeah, your lights should have, um, here it just pulls out of like a socket, bulb ball socket kind of thing. And there should be a nut in the back of here that you can get through the back of the liner here. These are fiberglass fenders. It looks like it pulled a big hole right through the fender. I probably won't put a nut on the back right now, but after I'll probably put a washer and a nut on the back of a big washer. Alright, so here's the new headlights. This is kind of a cheap headlight. I got these on um, on eBay. A couple hundred bucks. Come here, come here. Come on, man. Come on over here. Come here. Come, here. come check the headlights. <laughs> come here. What do you think? Take a look. <laughs> you like them? <laughs> Good girl. So these come with um, they come with a halogen high low bulb, an H13 bulb, and then they come with um, your signal light. I don't know why they give you an LED bulb. It's not a switchback, so it's really not legal. It's gonna. It'd be nice if it had an LED high low and then a, an amber signal. So I'm not gonna use that LED bulb. Eventually, I'm gonna get a. I'll get an LED high low and then I'll get a switchback LED so it's amber when I put my signal on and then LED when it's usually on as a running light. And for now I have an amber bulb I'll throw in here. I'll go off the old one. Thank you. 
So that main connector that was on the back of the other end light goes to the H13 bulb here, the high low bulb. Push that on and push the red tab in. And then for the signal light, this has its own kind of wire harness the box it has a double sided tape you gotta peel off and stick on the back of the light or to the fender, whatever you like. But um so I have to take this the old plug or connector or whatever off the old it signal light. It's got two little tabs on each side you push in. You pull it out. Yeah, then that connects over here. There you go. All right, yeah, then I'm going to steal this bulb and put it into here. So you use that LED one. I don't need any other reasons to get pulled over. Yeah, I'm just going to stick this little box here in the back of the headlight. If I want to remove it, I'm worried about coming off the fender or anything like that. I guess maybe if I, if I get LED bulbs that are big fan or whatever fins on the back of them, I might not want that here. I'll just stick that there for now. The halite, what's going on here? See, so yeah, I use your high low bulb here, then you got just a little wiring harness over the back light, then your signal light here. And this is where it connects to the old signal light harness. And these are the two lights that were the back of the old light, light that were added on. They'll pull back out of this wiring harness after. All right, so I'm just gonna tape up those wires from the old headlight. Don't want them touching anything, shorten out. I'm actually thinking I might end up using them. I'll probably just leave them. I can always use it for another light or something after. Never know. Just tape them up. I don't have any problems with them. Alright. Well, it's got a pin here, kind of helps it line up, but um, with these fenders, it's the holes are original, so I think I'm just going to cut this tab off, and then this one seems to line up good anyways. Yeah, those look nice. All right, we'll test them out before we uh, screw them in, make sure they work great. Right. That looks good. Now these still might need aligned after. I noticed there was a bolt to align the headlight, but um, 
I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that another time. I'll take it outside and I'll shine it next to the wall and make sure it's all aligned right. I might wait till I get different bulbs. Make sure. Alright, so they're all done. I think that gives it a good look. Alright, we'll turn them on. Yeah, so I'm going to change that amber light there to a switchback so that it would be white right now, and then when I put my signal light on, it would turn amber like that. Now this will do. And there's the headlights on, just to give you an idea. Alright, well that's it. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any, anything else you do, if you have any ideas for the headlights, any other ideas for videos. Thanks for watching. And uh, you'll see me next time. Everyone always, always says I'll see you next time. I don't know. I don't think I can see you. You can definitely see me. It's pretty black over there, eh?